What's good YouTube? This is Stormy B Man and I'm back with another video editorial. Before we get started, let me say shout out to the LDBC, the Lions Den Boxing Community, and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. So yesterday, Tuesday, June 15th, we saw the press conference, the single and only press conference that will promote Fury versus Wilder 2. And what a interesting set of affairs that took place. We saw both challenger Wilder and champion Fury enter the hall in the most eerie of atmospheres for this presser leading up to their fight which is taking place on July what is it July 24th these guys have bad blood between them and it didn't help that when we see the media and how they've handled this presser and everything that has led up to this presser. And then they had the gall to be perturbed that Deontay Wilder elected not to answer any questions as he sat on the dais with his headphones on and totally ignoring the media that was present. Salute to Deontay Wilder because it was these same people who prior to his rematch with Tyson Fury never gave any reverence to the champ <clears throat> whatsoever. They were dismissive of his abilities and talents. They were dismissive of his mindset, the confidence that he spoke with, and the assuredness of what he represented as far as community. They despised this so much to the degree that they would embrace a foreigner over the American champ both prior to his first fight with Tyson Fury and all of the promotions leading up to the rematch. At the weigh-in for the rematch, Wilder was booed heavily. The writers yucked it up. They thought it was humorous. They laughed. They talked about it. They talked about him. So, after the events of the second fight, the media began to turn on Wilder even more because as he elected not to give much of any interview or commentary on the fight aside from what he said as the action ended in the ring, on that night, he gave Fury credit, said that he will be back and that he would seek a third fight. You had pundits in the media who would say disparaging remarks, disrespectful remarks, personalities who've even fought themselves professionally. Andre Ward, Wilder doesn't want any more of that. Tim Bradley, I think it's over for him. All of these critical comments and remarks as if people were just lying in wait to see the champion suffer the utmost in setbacks and that is to take a loss. Wilder, when he decided to speak publicly, came forth with information that upon the realization of everyone who had a clear conscience and a clean eye to see what was going on, 
said that he was jobbed and he felt that he deserved his due diligence. He had to seek an arbitrator to enforce the third fight that he was contractually obligated to receive from Fury and Fury's camp. They tried to be dismissive and the media never acknowledged the arbitration until the decision was brought forth just in the past few weeks. This same media who would not even acknowledge our champion, a, an American champion, sought hard various personalities, Stephen A. Snitch out there, step aside. Let AJ and Fury have their day. And you take on the winner. This is how this works. No, this is not how it works. Deontay Wilder as a champion who reigned for five years and 10 title defenses deserved his day. He deserved his rematch. He was the one that pulled Fury out of the trash, dusted him off and gave him an opportunity at glory. You all embraced he losing as if it was some ceremonious victory. And even as Fury stood in the ring and saying bye bye American pie, you had old biased pre prejudiced people who you hadn't seen on the scene in years like Larry Merchant coming out saying is Deontay Wilder the last black hope disrespectful these are the media people that decided to say yesterday that was odd Deontay didn't want to speak we love Deontay really Mike Coppinger is that your position in this salute to Deontay Wilder who kept his words under his hat and has decided to allow the 24th of July to come and then that's when he'll do his talking in the ring and the media will be left to write about it between now and then though we'll enjoy our champ as he prepares to become a two-time champion of the world. This is Stormy B-Man. Leave thoughts, comments as you wish. Until the 24th of July, we'll see you soon. Bomb Squad all day. Peace.